when you talk to new team leaders, um, a lot of them are hesitant to grow because of the amount of energy that they think that they're going to have to spend on really bringing up the whole team, right? right. So. Hey, everybody, we're super excited about this one. LCA Family Nation, thank you so much for tuning in. As always, we've got another incredible webinar and a very special guest. And, you know, this is a, very this is an, special. you know, for me, it's an honor and a pleasure, my friend, Sunid. So when it comes down to it, a genius in the real estate world and, you know, uh, the accolades go on and on and on. But what I do want to preface is the number one team in the entire state of California. And we're going to be talking about incredible stuff. I can't wait for the bombs to be dropped very specific into meeting and training cadence from California's top team. So uh, without further ado, Sunid, thank you so much for taking the time. Uh, really appreciate you jumping on. Thanks so much, Greg, for the great intro. I just want to make sure everyone heard him say California's top team. Right? I'll say it one more time because it's okay. important. It is important. Yeah, it's the very number important. one team in the entire state of California. California is a big state, just in case it's you don't know. It's a big know. state. Yes. Yeah. And there's a lot of teams. So a uh, huge thing. And again, I, I just can't thank you enough for sharing your knowledge. Uh, you know, you've been doing this for such a long time and really just to be able to drop that uh, for everybody to learn and grow. Sunid, thank you. Uh, it, it's incredible. Yes, good. Thanks. Yeah, Matt. And I love it. Right. Um, when I talk to Tristan and Sandra about topics, I really and even when I talk to anybody are about our agents or other leaders and, you know, people I get to talk to, uh, I really want to be thoughtful about stuff that's relevant. Right. Mm -hmm. I have people like coach and other teams I talk to and that's why like, I feel like this is a relevant topic and that's, mm -hmm. How often do you meet? What's that look like? What's the what's the structure, right? Because when you talk to new team leaders, um, a lot of them are hesitant to grow because of the amount of energy that they think that they're going to have to spend on really bringing up the whole team, right? right. So through the years um, and different organizations I've been in, different coaching I've you know been in watching lab coats every single day since mm. I was a baby realtor and just implementing everything that I learned on this great Facebook group. Um, mm. I learned from my coach, Chep Lack, right? So mm. how often should you meet, right? Mm. What should you be meeting about? Yeah. I, I mean, I love that. Let's dissect it. Let's just jump in. And, and, and again, Sunil, what I love about you is you're a true practitioner, right? So you've been there, you've done that, you bought the t-shirt. And so this is coming from actual work that you've put in. So you, you can't, you can't fabricate this. It is what it is. So everybody who's tuning in, uh, just take major notes, really listen into it, but yeah, let's just dive in wherever you want to start. Sunid. Yeah. So, um, it's my intention to make sure that all the agents feel supported. Um, and that, um, there's ample opportunities, you know, to congratulate agents, to hold them accountable publicly, right? Um, and to, you know, try and keep everybody to our standards. So that needs to happen at a high level. If you want to have a successful team and have the people work and have the people want to be on the team, you have to do that. But then again, you have to think about your own schedule and like all you new team leaders out there that, that I talk to on a weekly basis, right? Like, uh, I don't want to spend too much time bringing on this agent because I'm busy. Um, and, you know, is that a good use of my time? Always, right? Like, so that's that's getting into a whole different side of how to bring them on. But for that daily accountability and that touch, I think you need to meet on a big scale hmm. daily. Okay. Once a day at least so when i was in club wealth with the incredible michael hellickson mm -hmm. he taught us about daily huddles uh and you know when i read tim ferris's book what the four hour work week mm -hmm. like he has i haven't even said that name tim ferris in a long time um <laughs> you're a podcaster you yes, make sure tim ferris Yes. Yeah. I got that book uh, right there where my thumb is. Good job. Good so. job. Uh, <laughs> good job pointing it out. Um, yeah. 
Um, so this is something too from Tim from Tim Ferriss, right? Like give the whole organization an opportunity every day to get on a Zoom or get on a call. Uh, we used to do calls. We've been doing Zooms for a, for a few years now. And it really um, lets us drop in, have everybody meet at once. Mm. We do it at 9 a.m. in the morning. I know there's other incredible teams that do it at 7.30 in the morning, sure. right? I know Tristan does one. I think his is 8.30 or 9. His is five minutes, mm -hmm. right? Like our 10 minutes. Mine is 30 minutes. Okay. All these other teams that I like and respect have different aspects of it, which works great for them, right? Mm -hmm. Like I like the way that I was taught to do it mm -hmm. was to um, go around the room and see what everyone's up to. Right. So we just did ours at 9 a.m. And it's basically, you know, hey there, Greg, um, how, you know, how's it going? What did you do yesterday? Mm -hmm. Right. What's yeah. your plan for today? Done. Cool. It also gives, gives you the chance to really get all your management done in a 30 minute space with independent contractors who could be in any numerous amount of places. They mm. could be in their car. They could be they could be at an appointment. They could be dropping off the kids. I'm good with what they're doing during the huddle. I get it, right? Like not Love everybody that. in this realtor role can always be at their desk at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. You and have I think to have you have to have flexibility with 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 your people. Yeah, I, I mean, Sunit, I, I love the fact that you do that. And again, you, you, the consistency is key that you're doing it at that time frame at 9 a.m. for 30 minutes and, uh, you know, allowing the flexibility, as you mentioned, to people's lives and their worlds. But ultimately, they're there and you, you touch base and, and you move on. I, I love that. A any other detail in there? Um, I mean, it's, it's my intention to get all the management done in those 30 minutes. Okay, got it. Right. I mean, per department slash business, right? So for mm -hmm. our agents, we do a huddle every Monday, every every Wednesday, and every Friday from 9 to 9.30. Okay. Right? Now, I have different de departments that are in there too, right? So my, my, my ISAs mm -hmm. also have a huddle, right? They aren't always with the agents. And that's mm -hmm. also structured every monday at 9 30 i just go back to back just to get it done and every friday at 9 30 and with the isas i know many of you want isas or are working on that you know what's what happened what happened over the weekend with with all the appointments what's going to happen this week right that's on monday but then on friday we just go back and look hmm. right i i bring up my little um dashboard and have them look well you said this many appointments here were the outcomes hmm. right what's the plan for the weekend which agent got too many leads hmm. so we do huddles we also do one for the office staff right so then at 10 okay. we do another huddle as we get more virtual and as these organizations grow gone are these like water cooler talks or seeing seeing somebody at the office right, right. but you as a leader need to be seen hmm. Oftentimes, my um, admin staff, you know, there's mm -hmm. about 15, 20 of them there. Oftentimes, that huddle is talking about what they did over the weekend, their kids' sports. Mm -hmm. But it's still just a time to be, to have that culture being built, right? Mm -hmm. So this is, you know, specific now to the Zoom, to the Zoom life. Mm -hmm. um, but um I mean, I think all those people I've probably hired are a majority of them I've hired via Zoom too. So I haven't wow. met some of them in their first year working, right? But we oh, still no. had a relationship because we're still talking. So, and you want to get all your management stuff done and out of the way. Got it. Got it. And I love the, the fact that you structure, structure it all the way through from, you know, you're talking about your team at nine, ISAs at 930, office staff at 10. You're doing this on specific dates and times that work well for everybody. But again, that's just, that's penciled in. Is there, is there anything in addition to that where you might do individual breakoffs or one-on-ones as opposed to the group settings, Sunid, or how, so, how does that work? Oh, we meetings. have plenty of other, we have plenty of other meetings. Okay. So, gotcha. so gotcha. that's just the huddle schedule, right? Okay. I do three a day, mm -hmm. three days a week. Okay. okay. It works out great. 
Got it. Um, we do role play and practice okay. twice a week. Wow. Right? And, and we do that at 3 p.m. Okay. Mondays and Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Uh, I want our agents to have presentations down like machines, mm -hmm. right? So every Monday, every Wednesday at 3 p.m., we do a role play where we practice phone scripts and we'll practice buyer presentations. Um, we don't do listing presentations during that general role play. Okay. Um, like, um, but the buyer presentations and the phone call, right? We're, we're so lucky on my team that our phones just ring off the hook with people mm -hmm. wanting to go and see houses. So mm -hmm. we just want, in addition to the ISAs, we want the agents able to feel those incoming calls too. Mm -hmm. So we all, we want them saying the same, the same script, right? Sure, sure. So we practice that um, and people show up. We'll have 30, 40 people show up to the role plays every time and they make it fun. Um, but once again, hmm. now you're getting training. You know that this training needs to happen. Here's two opportunities. Everybody can show up once a week. And you're once again, getting this big training done at a scale without this one-on-one -on -one stuff. Dude, one-on-one hmm. -on -one stuff, is really hard to be consistent with sure right i we have i don't know 50 60 team agents wow. if i do a one-on-one -on -one, that's my that's that's an entire job yeah yeah i mean that's that's insane to to look at it that way and again for everybody's time and, and consistency you're doing it in, in a very systematic way i i want to uh, kind of rebut the the statement that you just made, you said we're very lucky to have our phone ringing off the hook. I, I think that at the end of the day, you, you, that's your humility coming out. You, you guys are doing this very intentionally. It's preparation meets opportunity. You make your own luck, as they say. Uh, you guys aren't the number one. I'll say it again. You're not the number one team in California <laughs> for no reason, right? So and that's just a wonderful thing. But again, this is just proof in the pudding. I mean, look at how meticulous we are. We're just getting warmed up here with the meetings um, and the training, but. Yeah, incredible stuff so far, Sneed. I appreciate that. So then, you know, we're not close to being done. I love it. Um, every Tuesday at 11, mm. sales meeting with me for an hour. Okay. This can be that fire meeting, right? Yeah. This can be that fire meeting where I go off and get people um, fired up, we'll, we'll just say. Mm. But this is our sales meeting. Right. Like these are the numbers. This is what you're doing. This is what you aren't doing. Why the aren't you doing it? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. And um, this is where we talk about new like initiatives and um, it may seem crazy, but, you know, our systems and the opportunities that we get on the team are always changing. Mm. So there's a lot of stuff to go up, to go to go over. Maybe mm. the whole meeting is just a reminder to make some damn video on your cell phone. Right. Like we laugh and say there's only really like eight different topics that 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 the meetings have. And they've just been recycled over the last six years. Maybe that's true. Maybe uh, it's a joke. Maybe it's not. Uh, um, but um, this one, look, like. Be in front of the screen. Hmm. Show me your face. Yeah. Right. Like this is where it really counts. Like show up. This is one the one time a week that I want to see it. Hmm. Show up and turn on that damn camera. All right. Right. If not, I'm going to pick I'm going to pick on you. <laughs> Tough love, as it were. It's good. Yes. It's a good thing. Right. I don't care what you're doing. Like be somewhere once a week. You are that uh, accountable. I'm not going to say be somewhere every day because right. I understand life and you're an independent contractor. But once a week, I think that's not an unreal expectation. Sure, sure. Okay, so we've talked about the huddles. Mm -hmm. We've talked about the sales meeting. I think if you're a leader, you need to have a fire sales meeting once a week. Read okay. a book, listen to a podcast, go on Lab Code Agents, uh, see what is a relevant a relevant topic, or just look in your business, look at your metrics and your dashboards, and <laughs> look at your wallet and see what um, you should be talking about. Right, yeah. um, once a week. Like fire it up, listen to podcasts first, like figure it out, write it down, hmm, right? It. Make, make a plan. Hmm. Um, so something else that I think that everybody should have 
is lean on the franchise are your coaching our mm. lab code agents and let your agents know about things available on a greater scale right Got i'm it. basically a franchise of big block in san diego mm -hmm. they do two trainings every week i tell my agents hey here are two more opportunities mm -hmm. for our meetings right we're just trying to keep good content this stuff is just there for motivation and productivity, right? I mean, sure. but lean on that. If you work at one of these big, um, one of the big franchises, they have so much stuff, right? Like publish that and encourage your team to spend some energy and watch that. It's only going to make them better and more in the vibe, right? And I know every big box company does. And if you're maybe an independent and don't have that, you have lab code agents with mm -hmm. and YouTube with free content nonstop. Post some sh stuff like this, right. right? Hey guys, here's a great thing. Here's here's the link, hmm. right? So have plenty of opportunities like that. Uh, every Thursday we have a guest, okay? Right, so we have a guest come in. Maybe it's from a lead provider. Maybe it's hmm. a coaching call. Maybe it's um, some, you know, a speaker like um, you, Greg, yeah. but just another opportunity, right? Thursday, we don't have a huddle. Thursday, mm -hmm. we do have a guest at, at 1 p.m., just more training. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so it can turn out like two a day. Wow. And we have opportunities to be in front of our agents mm -hmm. twice a day. Not saying that they have to come every time, but we right. have opportunities for the, us to be in front of them twice a day and get the management out of the way and get the training out of the way. <laughs> right. Right. Because right. it's it's allowing for productivity and, and, and getting it done. And, and to that point, though, and I love the fact that you mentioned the franchise and, and looking at the brokerage itself, whether it's a, a boutique or if it's a massive uh, you know, franchise. And, and there are so many uh, levels of education through that. But you had also thrown in coaching. And not everybody understands the value of bringing on the right mentor or coach. You had thrown a name at the beginning. You don't have to mention the name again if you don't want to. I didn't want to put anybody on the spot. But what, what are your thoughts on coaching that way um, and learning from outside sources, out of the oh, office, dude. out of the brokerage? Dude, so I've been a realtor for seven years, dude, right? Mm -hmm. And I've had a coach almost the entire time. Wow. The, the the first six months, it was one of my buddies who got me in the business, um, who like mentored me and did it. And, you know, we've been old friends and old colleagues. And then yeah. after that, it was freaking Tristan and lab code agents and uh. me bugging the hell out of him saying, help me, help me, help me, help me. <laughs> like he he always laughs about it because he's a humble guy too, but I'm, yes. well, I still feel a little bad, but Hey, oh. I'm selling the shit ton of houses. Um, but, um, but, and then, you know, I, I started paying different organizations and going mm -hmm. to every conference and dude, it only works. Like your network is your net worth or something like that. Well said, well said. I, I love it. I was just curious into that thought process. And I know that so many people have that question as to when's the right time to bring on a coach or a mentor. And you'd say it's it, today. It's, yeah. As soon as you can. Yep. Yeah. Maybe it's somebody, I mean, you know, great coaching can cost money, but you know, you're going to get what you pay for. Um, but, um, you know, maybe it's somebody in your office, like, a mm -hmm. like a mentor, or maybe it's your team leader, mm -hmm. right. Or yeah. maybe you go out, maybe you hire me. Right. I mean, um, look at that. Steven Myers, Sunit coaching is fire. Yes. Yeah, there we uh, go. <laughs> but, um, uh, thanks bro. Um, good job showing up too. But, um, you just have to, you just have to do it okay just i mean number one like something that's once you get into leadership and get successful it's also can be lonely at the top mm. like who else are you are you talking to sure right i like to talk to my coach i coach with john cheplak right and i have mm -hmm. her for a long time and uh maybe he's more of a therapist a business therapist i don't know yeah. right sure. but sure. um it is lonely at the top and um I think you need that motivation and the accountability. I yeah. mean, 
No, and I would agree with that. And you're getting a bunch of people chiming in here saying that they would hire you as a coach um, with exclamation marks. So this is this is really good, Sydney. But uh, I didn't mean to go on that tangent, but I was just curious as to what your thoughts are on that uh, for sure. So um, didn't mean to interrupt your flow by any means. I, I think I needed it, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, I'm here for you. I'm here for you, my friend. I'm here That's for it. you, though. That's good. <laughs> But uh, so, so we were really going into, you know, the processes of meetings and trainings and, you know, everything that's available to that. And where we left off was the, with a the, with the brokerage or whether it's boutique or a franchise. So where, where do we go from here? Where does the next steps go in your mind as, as far as growing and, and uh, information you want to drop on everybody? I mean, like, dude, I think the, the opportunities, like, so that's the entire training cadence, right? I mean, love it. Once a, once a quarter, I bring in my business coach and we do fierce accountability with the entire team, right? Wow. And I think okay. that that's money. Mm-hmm. Um, um, but like, I really want to encourage people to like, number one, if you're in leadership to have some kind of structure mm-hmm. and have it be like... A, I mean, I guess if you went to business school or if you have other practical mm-hmm. experience, maybe you subscribe to like EOS, which I think is management on like super steroids, right? Um, right. right. Um, there's all these different management schools. I went to school for business and I've ran a bunch of businesses. So I've mm-hmm. tried everything and I all like, I feel like I've tried everything. I've read a bunch of books. I'm reading, this is a good book right now, a Trillion Dollar Coach, which talks about meetings and, uh, silicon valley but um uh-huh. but uh i think just having a structure and mm-hmm. like like my thing now in dealing with independent contractors which are all our agents is having like a caring hard but soft flexible structure right? yeah. which really doesn't mean anything <laughs> but tough. but that's like how i look at it because it's about independent contractors right Mm -hmm. and um i think i would be like more supportive to make it Mm -hmm. easier for our agents yeah so we can sell more houses and make more money than be a stickler about oh well you didn't show up to the huddle (laughs) right right i I mean there's an accountability that uh, as you mentioned that i think is crucially important for any organization whether it's in real estate or not and uh, I love that you kind of ended it with that process because there's a certain level of knowledge, motivation, training, education that you can provide. Obviously, doing the work and consistency is going to get get you there, as you know, what you've done and what you continue to do. But to have that kind of accountability, buddy, it's just like, as we were talking about, kind of going to the gym. You know, I mean, it's nice to have that personal trainer that's kind of oh. forcing you to push it a little bit further. And those last few reps really make it happen. Um, and it's the same thing with a well-oiled machine and a team such as yours, um, you know, but everybody's got to have some kind of accountability. I mean, it, it's just important. Yeah. I mean, I have a health coach always, yeah. always yeah. for the yeah. same reason. Yeah. I, I think it's crucial. They call us out on, on maybe what we don't want to hear or look at, or maybe we're ignoring, but none of us are perfect, but uh, as a team, yeah. we, we strive for sure. But any other thoughts, Sunit? I mean, I think you, you covered really, you know, the meetings and the training cadence, uh, you know, from your perspective, but I mean, there's, you're so wealth of knowledge, man. You can just keep going. I know that. Well, so. I just want, like, I just, you know, want to encourage everybody to have some kind of structure and don't get caught up in like, the agent didn't show up to your huddle once, right? Like, don't get caught up in that. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not worth your energy. Like, focus on the people that did show up, right? right? And if somebody keeps on showing up, not showing up, or half-assing anything in the organization, turn them off the leads, right? Mm-hmm. Like, but yeah. don't don't chase them around. Mm-hmm. Like, if they're not motivated by the potential income, then you chasing them around isn't going to make isn't going to motivate them. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Well said. I mean, I mean, it's a, uh, it's that adage, right? Uh, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Yeah. And I don't want you guys to spend all your energy on figuring out ways to make your, make your horses drink. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. They should be thirsty. Think about getting some more damn horses. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The, the stallions, the stallions yes. right there. Right. But uh, gosh, I mean, this is always incredible as always. And uh, you know, I was just checking to see if there was, 
there's any questions or anything before we wrap this up, uh, you know, what's as we're going through, what's the best way to for everybody to get a hold of you, to learn more, to really engage with with you and your knowledge need? What what does that look like? Just, sure. just for everybody who's tuning in. Uh, send me a DM on Facebook, Sunit Agarwal, or uh, go to Instagram, which is Sunit Agarwal. I try to make it as easy as possible after having some dumb name up there for years. <laughs> it's Sunit <laughs> underscore Agarwal 916, because 916 is Sacramento. Got it. Love this. Love this. Uh, let's see. So uh, somebody, Chris asked, do you have a minimum uh, expectation um, when it comes down from yearly closings? For so EJD? Chris, what's up, man? Really easy, dude, is my expectation is if I give them a lead, that they work their face off on that lead. Hmm. And if not, then I'm going to take that, that lead back, hmm. right? Like I would really look, and I know Chris, he's a, he's a, He's a great guy. Chris is great. I was looking at what Jake wrote. Um, <laughs> but they they better take care of that lead like friggin' gold, right? Mm, yeah. My my yearly expectation is you better treat my leads like gold. Right. Right. Uh, you, you know, because right? uh, dude, like what's the what's the what's your cost? What's your hard cost for an agent per month? Yeah, right, right. I mean, you think think about that. Hope, I mean, depending on your um, structure, it could mm -hmm. be like a profit mm -hmm. on an agent every month, right? right? Regardless of the of the production, we're getting into the weeds here, mm -hmm. but um, but I still like the weeds. Um, I love it. Um, but uh, simple and effective, Chris, dude. Yeah, like all this other energy, dude, is like I spent so many years on all this other energy, man. Mm -hmm. I feel like Zen with the team now, and it's mm -hmm. working. Huge. Right? Like I'm, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to feel any certain kind of way over someone's lack of motivation. I'm just going to go get 10 more motivated people. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I love that. And it's like, uh, you know, the, the water on a duck's back, right. Just let it roll right off. Um, as long know. as my leads are good. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like don't mess with my leads. <laughs> well, and, and to that, to that point though, I think anybody out there who's been doing this long enough understands how how much it takes to generate leads and build a brand and a reputation and you know it, having the integrity to do what you say you're going to do with every single person who raises their hand uh, that's your brand that's your name and your message and reputation out there every single phone call every single message and oh, so dude, yes. it's super important like we do not i have four full-time people which i mean we spoke about it last time in those mm -hmm. leads making sure yeah like making sure the ISAs have ISAs have ISAs, right? <laughs> so. Love it. Yeah. Oh gosh, yeah, that's that's insane. Well, and, and when it comes to so Chris, hopefully that helped. And um, Sunny, I don't see any other uh, questions in here or anything like that. So if there's anything else you want to well, add, I see Bob Powell. What are the eight topics? And Bob, oh, great sure. question. I was just throwing a number out there. It could be four. It could be six. It could be three. Um, I think one is video. Oh, gotcha, I think gotcha. one is lead follow up, right? I I think one is like um, your sphere of it, uh, like working your sphere, right? Uh, I think like one is like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's only three, um, but <laughs> there have got to be more, man. I, I don't remember them offhand. Send me a message, and if I read, if I can remember what like our joke was, mm -hmm. one of my agents. A lot of you guys know him, Dan. Dan Herbert, who's been with me for six years. He's a man. Mm -hmm. I've been at every team meeting for six years. There's only however many topics. So I don't know if it's eight or if it's six, but <laughs> I'll look. The consistency is there. We, we did get a question from Justin. Uh, what's your onboarding process look like, Sadid? Well, it looks like we got to do another one of these meetings. Justin. I know, right? We're, we're, this is good. I mean, everybody's interested. Hey, th they want to learn from the master. So right? Justin, so this is what I'd say is, create a system that's duplicatable and just work on refining that for onboarding. Love it. Love it. For anything yeah. in life, honestly, if you want to get really existential. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah that, oh, that's getting deep. We're, we're getting yeah. deep here. Too. That, I like that. But, but to your point, I think that's a great topic. I mean, onboarding process, I mean, you're bringing the right people on and you've done this and you really have had that proven track record. So, Hey, 
LCA, you know, that this, if this man is available, you got to book him way in advance, but uh, we'd love to have that conversation for sure. Uh, this is great. But um, hey, I can't thank you enough, my friend, for taking the time and really just yeah. sharing your knowledge as always. And it's, it's always a blast uh, for sure. And I know everybody gets so much information out of you and just your kind heart and nature. So I uh, can't thank you enough, my friend. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Have a good one. Thanks. Greg. Thanks, Thanks, LCA. Okay. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, Andrew. See ya. Bye.